Am I the asshole for suing custody of my son thus ruining my ex-wife's life? Throwaway as I don't know if ex-wife uses Reddit. I have a son who is 14. My ex-wife has major custody of him and basically makes my son feel miserable. I pay nearly $80,000 in child support as I am a doctor who makes $350,000. My ex-wife does not have a job and quit her job once she gained child support. S. O. When I sued and won full custody as my son told the judge he does not want anything to do with his mom his mom lost the child support and thus lost her income my wife's friend messaged me on Facebook telling me I should be miserable because I ruined my son's mom life and I am a piece of shit person for that. So now I am wondering if I am the asshole for stealing away my son's mother income after suing for child custody of my son who hates his mom thus ruining my son's mom life. Edit, English is my second language. Not the asshole. You ruined nothing that didn't ruin itself. Not the asshole sounds like she ruined her own life when she quit her job. That $80,000 wasn't for her, it was for your son. Her job was for her. Not the asshole and block her friends on social media. You don't need to be communicating with them or they with you. You saved your son from a shitty life. Not the asshole. The money you provided was for child support, not ex-wife support. She should have worked harder on her relationship with her son. At 15, he would be expected to leave the home in a few years. What would your ex have done for money then? It's her fault she can't support herself. Don't listen to her friends. Not the asshole. What judge fucked you so hard you're paying almost $7,000 a month in support? That's insanity, even knowing what piece of garbage family courts are. Not the asshole. Child support is meant to support the kid, not to support her sitting on her butt. This is the perfect time for her to step up and be a mom and a normal member of society. She really though she could live off that forever. Fuck her. You get what you get. Not the asshole. You shouldn't have to be her free ride just because she's the mother of your child. You are not responsible for her, you are only responsible for your son. Not the asshole. You didn't ruin her life by getting custody as desired by your son. She can still work from what you've written. Not the asshole. She ruined her own life. She had a kid who she probably didn't care for properly, she expected and relied on you to support them completely even if you didn't live together and she didn't get a backup plan. What was she going to do when your son turned 18 and the child support stopped? Not the asshole. Child support was supposed to be for your son, not her free income. She is not entitled to your money, especially not your money that was going towards your son. Not the asshole. I hate seeing high-earning males being taken advantage of by their ex-wives. I saw my mom take my dad for over 100k a year growing up and I saw my uncle get financially fucked by his ex-wife as well. Ex-spouses of high earners, males or females, should get what's necessary to help out with the kid. Not 80k plus. That's just stupid. The whole court system is fucked. Don't be stupid. The answer is so obvious there was no point making this post. Nowhere near enough information. Lots of kids go through stages of hating a parent. Was she a good parent? A doctor making that much do you have time for a 14 yo? This post shouldn't be about the money, rather what's best for the boy. Not the asshole, if she is no longer living with the child, then she is not entitled to child support. Of course her friend doesn't like it, the cash cow has dried up. Not the asshole she chose to live off the child support when she should have been working toward employment, especially with a 14 years old who doesn't need her at home and he's old enough to choose where he lives. That said, I probably would have given her enough for three months of expenses to get her life together. You didn't ruin her life though. Not the asshole. You were paying child support, not alimony. If she doesn't have bills to pay for the child anymore, she doesn't need your money. Not the asshole. Child support is not income for the parent, child support is to support the child. Also, she blew 80k in a year. She should at least have 30k of that money in savings. Info. Did she get spousal support or a settlement? Not the asshole. What country are you in? Because none of this passes the sniff test. Um, isn't your child support just that, child support? I would think that money is for the support of your son's needs, not his mother's. For her to have given up her own income and live off of the money your son is getting seems to me to be a slap in the face. 
If she had a job before she should have kept up and made her own way in the world. I don't think the old excuse I need to be home to care for the child is going to cut it as 14 is certainly old enough to care for oneself at least yo some extent. Hell, even 11 or 12 would be as both my parents worked and I would come home at that age and do my homework, make a snack, and entertain myself. I don't feel she needs sympathy though I'll admit I don't know all the details of the situation, at this point. Not the asshole. Take good care of your son, I hope you both are happier now. Not the asshole, the ruin just came four years earlier than expected. Not the asshole. How is your child support being calculated that you paid $80,000 a year? That's not possible. Which country are you based in? I put in the most generous amounts for coverage with a $4,000 health insurance from UPR month with 100 overnight stays per year and you should have paid at most $2,000 a month. Granted this is for the US, but I have never in my life come across someone almost 30% of their annual paycheck in support to another parent. Not the asshole, and I bet the same thing would have happened a few years later after he turned 18. She chose to rely on your child support and when you won, she got sour cause now the princess has to work again. You are the asshole for clearly being a troll ready to tickle Reddit's hate boner for single mothers. Not the asshole. Your ex-wife is a disgusting woman. She's using her son as an advantage because she knows that gains her money without having to work, and she makes her son's life a living hell in the process. Well, that stops now. Time she fends for herself. Thank you op, for making this kid's life 100x better. Not the asshole people should not be allowed to take advantage of child support like your ex-wife has. You are the asshole. Not for the situation which is clearly a not the asshole situation but for asking a clearly not the asshole question. In what universe would you be the asshole for looking after your son at his request which in turn ends child support which your ex-wife was using as a free ride for herself? Not the asshole. And nice of you to actually break the system and assume custody from the mother. It's nice seeing someone succeed in that. Info, did your ex accept a higher level of child support in lieu of alimony during the divorce? A surprising number of women are advised to do this because of the different tax treatment between child support and alimony. Not the asshole. She ruined her own life when she chose to quit her job and be a bad mom. Not the asshole. That money is not meant for your ex-wife. It was for your son's life. Not the asshole. Your son was miserable and you helped him by getting full custody. She had a job before, she can go get another one. Block her flying monkeys and ignore them. Not the asshole. You did the right thing, especially if your son was miserable in his previous living situation. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It wasn't ex-wife support, and if she was making your son miserable, it wasn't ultimately supporting him either. Take good care of him. Not the asshole, that 80k was child support. Not mom support. It's supposed to be for your son, not her, she doesn't deserve a dime of it. Not the asshole. Child support is supposed to be support for the child, and supplemental to the other parent's income. She didn't have a job by her own volition, and chose to ride on money meant for him rather than support herself. Suffice to say, she ruined her own life. You're definitely not the asshole for that if your ex-wife isn't even taking care of the kid and the kid don't even want anything to do with her there's no reason for you to be responsible for her life in any type of way. Not the asshole. She ruined her own IFE but the real crime is she ruined your son's as well. Not the asshole. In what way could you ever be the aw? Child support is for the child not for your ex-wife to quit her job and live off your money. Plus you said your son was miserable. I see this as a win. Don't let her or her minions shame you because she thought she could keep your son as a meal ticket. Not the asshole. Child support is not income. Not the asshole. She can get a job like the rest of us. It was not her income. It was money for your son, though. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You did the right thing for your son, and it's not your fault your ex made bad decisions. Not the asshole. My wife's ex-husband is one of these. 40 years old, still lives with his parents and has no job. The child support we send him he just spends on new toys for himself and he gives his hand-me-downs to my stepson. I get the distinct impression that he only wanted custody for the allowance, because in every other way he acts like his son is an inconvenience to him. You didn't ruin a thing, that money was to support your son not your ex-wife. 
she shouldn't have quit her job on the assumption that she could steal your son's child support money indefinitely. Not the asshole. Your son was miserable and you put your son's needs first. If your ex-wife's life is ruined, it's something of her own doing. Not yours. Not the asshole. Your son wants to be with you. Your ex-wife is the only one to blame for her ruined life. 